Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn one more use of use effect hook in react with TypeScript for fetching a restful get API data from a server by using Axios library. For that, I create this component here and I imported here also in app.tsx now here we try to fetch it and use the use effect function for that here I need to uh, create first of all the state variable of you fetching a user's information so I say const then I say users then set users equal to use state and here we need to specify uh, the value of that that we want to fetch that would be of array type that we want to fetch array information now this information is coming now we have to use use effect so use effect here under this use effect we have to call a method arrow method and we have to specify condition that we want to execute it once that means we want to use it like componented mount and here uh, we need to use axios library so first of all i need to import it axios from axios like this and if you have not installed this library so you can install it also you see it's saying that is not never declare so we need to install it for that I create one more command prompt and here I say npm i or install axios and we just install it you see it is installed here so we just remove this command prompt now still we have the library because we have installed it now we have to use it axios.get and here we need to specify the api from which we want to fetch data so already i have this api which having a data so i copy this and i just paste it and then i say then because it's a promise based library and we have a catch also so under the then also we need arrow function uh, that will response after fetching data if there is an error or api is wrong or there is a problem then error will come so if error is there then we we'll say alert and we will display error because error will come here so that error we will display here but if we have a data so what i do here i say that set users and that users would be of response dot data and where is response response will come from here so that data we will set in this area we save this now we have to display this or we have to display here so I say that h2 and I display here that user information like that now we have to create a table or display this so first of all I say user dot map and under this map we will display again and again but here first of all I need to create table so I say table and under the table i need to create a head so i take t head first of all then i need a t body also so i say t body t body like this now under this we have to use this map function under a body and uh, what we need we need to give here some color combination so i say in header class name so bootstrap class we say table and table dark we give the header 
and here we say class name so i say table and table we say success this is a color combination and here i need to use tr under this tr we need had th and here i say uh, user id then i say th username and then we need to display a user photo like this we have lot more data available in this api but we need only three that login means name then id and then we need this image which is the url for image that we want to fetch we can fetch all also but in demo purpose i am taking three only and we will see the error also but here you see in map we have arrow function like this and under this arrow function we have user one single user then here uh, we need to create uh, a row so i say tr so under this tr we need to specify key so that key would be of user dot id uh, then here i need to create uh, under this i need to create table uh, so i say td data and i say user dot id like this so this is we have data type here you see user state we are saying it is the array so now what we do i just uh, uh, once again i create one more field and here i specify this user dot login as a name once again i need to specify table image so in td i say img and in img we have a src tag under this src i have to specify user dot avatar underscore id that is image then under this image i need to close this and we have to specify width that would be of 100 pixel then i need to specify height that would be of 100 pixel and then i say alt alternative whatever i want to display i say here pick is not found so we have this way save this so we have all this information right now like this but we having error here that constant user never this this is we have the problem problem we have because it's a type script it is not a pure react application so before using uh, this uh, user state variable i need to declare it uh, I say uh, the interface I create interface here in this interface I say user uh, type and here I declare that ID would be of number type then login which I'm using that would be of a string type and here avatar dot underscore ID that would be of string type here uh, then this user type I have to specify here so I say it's a user type of array like that so I save this and you see that we having a problem here so we have to uh, check this once again so I need to return it so in place of this I call this and then i remove this and then i use it after this one like that save this like this i save it so now i need to uh, remove i need to pass this also pixels in double quotes like that 
I save it so we have it and we have so SRC we have then width and height we have an image so we say width equal to this and height equal to this and save this you see everything is okay now and we try to see the output here I refresh it you see that we have not having image right now so we just handle this also and we need uh, the bootstrap classes also that we have a problem here so for that uh, the color combination what I require here table is not uh, working then we say here so the bootstrap is not working so I need to check whether we have bootstrap install so here I need to go to my package file and in this package file okay exuses problem here and in this file we have a bootstrap also but it is not working so what i do class name we have here i try to use btn and btn you can say uh, warning i save this btn is working but it is not working as a table so for that need table and we have table warning like this and we have success spelling is mistake so you see we have this also so for that uh, uh, I need to in header part in place of header part I just cut this and I pass the setting here in table tag I save this you see it's working now properly it's working now properly table in table tag we have to give this then we give in body also now problem is in photo so we have uh, uh, we have to check the URL here that is uh, avatar underscore URL that we have to change here in place of ID I have to say URL and here also I need to specify URL and I save this and you refresh it you see that now we have the data here table here all the information we are fetching on the server by using RESTful API now this user info is coming in the left side so that we can also shift to the center for that I say here class name and I say uh, text center save this and you see automatically we have the data in the center so like that way we can use use effect for fetching the restful get API data and we have to specify here data type here in user state only then we can fetch information because it's not a react it is a react with type script it require data type declaration each and every time or rest of the thing is similar to the react which we have used in react videos also so that's all in this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video